off the podcast, you you don't act like a like you you talk to somebody like me. You don't talk like a famous person, or you you don't you don't act rich. <laughs> like you're better than others. There's a certain listen. I've talked to quite a few. You have too, but I've talked to a specially kind of group of people that are like Nobel Prize winners. Let's mm -hmm. say they have sometimes have an air to them that's yeah, arrogance, yeah. of arrogance. Yeah, and you don't. What, what's that about? Well, you got to know what that is, right? Like um, that air of arrogance comes from uh, drinking your own Kool Aid. You you start believing that somehow or another, just because you're getting praise from all these people, that you really are something different. Usually, it, it, it exemplifies. There's there's something there. There's where there's a lack of struggle, you know. And I think uh, struggle is probably one of the most important balancing tools that a person can have. And for me, um, I struggle mentally and I struggle physically. I struggle mentally in that I like we were talking about on the podcast we did previously you and I on my podcast said, I'm not a fan of my work. I'm not a fan of what I do. I'm, a, I'm my harshest critic. Yeah. So anytime anybody says something bad about me, I'm like, listen, I said way worse about myself. I, uh, you know, I don't like anything I do. I'm ruthlessly introspective and I will continue to be that way because that's the only way you could be good as a comedian. There's no other way. You can't just think you're awesome and just go out there. You have to, you have to be like picking apart everything you do. But there's a balance to that too because you have to have enough confidence to go out there and perform. And do it, yeah. You can't think, oh my God, I suck. I, I know what I'm doing, but I know what I'm doing because I put in all that work. And one of the reasons why I put in all that work is I don't like the, I don't like the end result most of the time. So I need to work at it all the time. And then there's physical struggle, which I think balances everything out. Without physical struggle, I, I've, I always make the analogy that the body is in a lot of ways like a battery, where if you have extra charge, it's like it leaks out of the top and it make, becomes unmanageable and messy. And that's how my psyche is. If if I if I have too much energy, if I'm not if I'm not exerting myself in a violent way, like an explosive way, like wearing myself out. I just don't like the way the world is. I don't like the way I interface with the world. I'm too tense. I'm 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 too quick to be upset about things. I'm too but when I work out hard and I, you know I put in a, a brutal training session, everything's fine. Well